Already said, go man, go. I got a girl I love, so I'm ready. Ready, 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 I'm ready. Ready, 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 I'm ready. Ready, 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 I'm ready, ready, ready to rock and roll. You know that song's called Ready for Teddy or something like that. <laughs> ready for Teddy. And uh, the only reason I'm singing it is because I wanted to sing the other one. Um, but the other one was kind of cheesy compared to Elvis. Yeah. The other was a one, two, three o'clock, four o'clock, rock it. Five, six, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, rock it. Nine, ten, eleven o'clock, twelve o'clock, rock and gonna rock around my crock tonight. Crock. The croc. Yeah, I got your, it. Your reptilian <laughs> brain. Yeah. Okay. Um, my name is Survival, and beside me here is Procreation, and together <laughs> we're the evolution people. <laughs> no, I should say we are evolution, and then we can name the show that. Okay, we sent the limo for you because we got to take uh, the ride out the road and uh, we're going to start t- stop talking right away and sing a song because we decided to do that. Uh, because we know you're, you need it real quick, right? Yeah. You need it real quick. All right, well, I don't grow marijuana anymore because it's a kid's game now. It's all legalized. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's but there cooling. was a there was I I, I was the trailblazer. One I brazed the brazed the. T- <laughs> <laughs> brazed I the brazed tail. her tail. No. Um, where what what key you want this in? The B, apparently. Really? According to the book. That should be pretty exciting. You won't get m- much bass out of me. But eventually, um, these guys took me down, didn't they, Mom? I was breaking rocks in a hot sun, I bought the law. Law one, I bought the law. Law one. I needed need money. I needed money because I had none, I bought the law. Law one, I bought the law and law one. I said, I miss my baby and I feel so bad. Oh, I guess my race is run. She's, She's the best girl I ever had. I bought the law and law one, I bought the law and law one. I bought the law and the law one, I bought the law and the one. I was robbing people with my six gun. I bought the law. Law one. I bought the law. Law one. I didn't do that. They already do this. I miss my baby and my six gun. I bought the law. Law one. I bought the law. Law one. I bought the law and law one, I bought the law and law one. Whoa, whoa, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Your procreation. Yeah. You look like it too. Yeah. You look somebody like somebody procreated you. <laughs> Don't say that to me. Oh, I thought that was a pretty good, uh, pretty good thing. Okay, we <laughs> sent the limo. I think a lot of things are okay. <laughs> we we sent the limo for you because we got to take a ride out to the cornfield of dream where the old artists come out and they request their songs, and we do them much better than we just did that one. Gets better all the time, doesn't it, Ma? You know, Ma, the problem with pop music, you know, even the pop country. Yes. And otherwise, generally pop music, the mating season music. Yep. All the procreation songs mm-hmm. are just about the humpy humpy. Mm-hmm. They never talk about the rest of it. Yeah. Rarely. Except little bitty. It's just the humpy humpy and getting up to it. Yeah. <laughs> Remember Paul actually says, 
I don't know if you know this, but you know this stuff. This music stuff. It's all about sex. <laughs> Make it whoopy. <laughs> Oh, Paul, he's looking pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> he's my Paul. Tall Paul. You want to get out to the cornfield, take a ride? Yeah, I do. All right, let's move our things, Dan. Hoo-ah. Hoo-ah. When those rats came on the porch the other day, that's <laughs> that's the sound. I, that there's a There's a reason for that sound. It's a fast way to make a big scary sound. What? What? Hua! Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only I did a little bit deeper than that. Hua! <laughs> like that. Oh, well, they scattered rats. Oh God! I love them rats. The worst. But you know what's worse than rats? Squirrels. No. They will go right in your head. They'll go all <laughs> I over disagree. you. Disagree. I had them down in my in my my greenhouse. Yeah. Where you were fighting the law. Yeah. And the squirrel won. Yeah. I was going to growing the green crack down there. <laughs> That's a good brand. Good brand of weed. Down in the triangle. The Emerald Triangle, they call it. You know that? Nice. Northern California. Oh. Actually, I was down there. I saw a, sh- a show in an old theater down there. And <laughs> I'm in the, it's like the 80s or something. I'm in like the key big producing. I think Kentucky is big too, but it's a big producer in the States, right? the emerald triangle yeah and and i went to a movie and you know what it was the movie was it was a real old-fashioned theater where the woman had a flashlight (laughs) and she gave a little talk to the audience before the show started (laughs) you know what the show was what dazed and confused (laughs) (laughs) i really enjoyed it yeah we're gonna take a ride Oh, don't take a ride. Don't take a ride. I pass a honky tonk. Pass a honky tonk. And pass the county line. Pass the county line. Through the amber waves of green. Through those waves of green. And pass the dairy cow. With the big brown eyes. To the old cornfield of green. Cornfield, cornfield of green. Only Molly can see these. Cornfield of green. Cornfield of green. They're working the other side now. It's Merle Haggard. He says, you can do either Silver Wings or Today I Started Loving You Again. What about both? <laughs> Whatever you feel like you can do. What about that one where you're like, the guy's going to the gallows? You can do that Okay, one. what were they again? Silver Wings, Today I Started Loving You Again. Today I started loving you again I'm right back where I really always been I got over you just long enough to let my heart in me And then today I started loving you again Yeah, today I started loving you again Oh, what a fool I was To think I could get by The only few million tears I cried Oh, how was I to know the worst will yet to come? And that crying time for me had just begun. And in a day, I started loving you again. Now I'm a right back. Where I really always been I got over you just long enough to let my heart in me And then today I started loving you again 
And then the day I started loving you again And then the day I started loving you again Merle Hager He snuck out of San Quentin in a piano box He was the real him and uh, Lefty Prezel were both, uh, but I don't think oh, Lefty did much. He he just was fooling around with a pan that, pan that turned out to be fourteen or fifteen. Oh no! He said, you know, chase. She looked forty to me. <laughs> <laughs> Not eighteen, you know. I wouldn't yeah, say eighteen. That's too close. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you should have been playing around with an eighteen-year-old anyway. <laughs> she, I didn't say eighteen. I said forty. <laughs> <laughs> Ridiculous. Okay. <clears throat> oh, you know, I, I'm sure Merle and Johnny and all, uh, George, all the guys are out there. Tammy, why not? They're, they're all there. They got a, a still mm-hmm. in the cornfield. Mm-hmm. But. Um, I thought they might know something about horseshoes because I, I think essentially horseshoes are horseshit. Yeah. Yeah. Are they bad? Yeah, I like throwing axes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm going to like sit there and toss something. Yeah. Ragnar. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you knew something about <laughs> like horses. Horseshoes are bad for horses. And something mm, like that. No, shit, no. <laughs> I don't know. All I know about evolution. <laughs> the, the impetus of human motivation is uh, evolution. Well, let's get out of this cornfield then, Dad. But, you know, I'm getting a different way of saying it now. You know all I got to say now? What? Cooperate with your croc. Because uh-huh. that's the problem everybody's yeah. got. Their young brain, they're all up in the cerebral cortex. That's who you think you are. When you say to me, mm-hmm. how do you like me? It's you really your cerebral cortex that's saying that. But... <laughs> Underlying <laughs> down at the bottom, <laughs> and the base, the base of your brain is undulating your croc. Yeah. Like people like to call it a lizard, yeah. reptilian. It's <laughs> undulating. And it is the power amp. Yeah. You cooperate with that baby or it'll give you shit brain chemistry. Yep. People are going to think you're talking about the shoes. Anxiety and depression. <laughs> the croc. <laughs> the crocs. <laughs> One, two, three o'clock, four o'clock, rock. Let's get out of the cornfield, Dad. Everybody get back in the limo and get on that old country road. That because old the girl road. is told, hanging out of the window. Somebody sees a great big old tower, 50,000 watt. Station GHRT. Station GHRT. Is that for you and me? Brought to you by Alice's Restaurant and General you Store. Anything you want down at Alice's Restaurant, down at Alice's Restaurant. Pull up the old station. Go on in there to the front desk and see Betty Page in her cigarette girl uniform. She'll give you your um, your tea with the high wash in it. Send you down the stairs here to the Bro Room Studio for the Psychedelic Prairie Home Companion. The really big old time radio medicine show, Three Chords and the Truth. Star Molly Griffin. And her old dog, Dude. And the Reverend Dr. Joey G2 coming to you live from Station GHRT in the virtual haystack in your mind. Where the show always starts in five minutes. And we don't spin the tunes on the turntable, we spin them on our souls. So kick back, chill out, and relax to the mellow sounds of the singing DJs. DJs, DJs, DJs. We spin them on our souls. Sometimes we spin them on our arms. On our <laughs> Mr. Sandman, old time radio, that's what it is. The singing DJs, yes it is. Never let, don't stop for a minute. It's Bodville Mall. Oh, mommy, how I love you. How I love you, my dear old mammy. Yeah? Mm-hmm. I'd walk a thousand miles for one of your smiles. My mammy. <laughs> 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 
Oh, geez, this is pretty big. Oh, we better sing a song. Okay. But uh, you left me just when I needed you most. Ready? Yeah. Is that what you want? Sure. See, 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 see. Pew, pew, pew. It seems my baby left me Find a new place to dwell It's down to the end of lonely street I break hotel and I say I get so lonely, baby I get so lonely I get so lonely I could die The hotel was crowded You should have found some room With broken hearted lovers, man I get so lonely, baby. I get so lonely. I get so lonely. I get so lonely. I get that. Hey, I like the way you're doing the shoulders. That's real good. That's my main move. <laughs> shoulders. Okay, C, Dad. Get in a C. Get in a C. Mm, C. Oh, okay. I know how to do it, boy. Just a minute. I figured it out. <laughs> I figured out you put it on the second, second dot like that. Yep. Is this a Ben Skrill tune? Is that what you want me to do? The no, Vince Gill? this is just what I needed you most. Do you want to do the Vince Gill one instead? I'm going on it. Well, this isn't the right key. It says it's in G. G? Mm. But do you like this? Face He's on. an angel. Whoop. He's an angel. But he has a shine. I lie awake at night Wishing you were mine I'm standing here holding Biggest heartache in town Never you come around I get weak in the knees Oh man, I lose my breath and when I try to speak, the words won't come because I'm so scared to death. And when you smile, that smile, it turns me upside down. Whenever you come around. I feel so helpless I feel just like a kid What is it inside of me That makes me keep my feelings here Standing here holding This heartache in town Whenever you come around And when I try to speak, the words won't come Cause I'm so scared to death And when you smile, that smile, it turns me upside down Whenever you come around you come around yeah you were going right I did the wrong key <laughs> I, I didn't know what to do because it was the wrong key it was the wrong key <laughs> but you pulled it through Joe well you know I was trained to do it but whatever <laughs> you do, yeah what? <laughs> trained Stop to it. screw up yeah uh, okay do you want to do another song or do you want to talk what's that there I think oh. he wants to talk oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. wait, wait, wait. This is kind of funny. I, I discovered this. I made another discovery this week. Oh, yes. Did you know? Well, you might know a little bit about it, no, but not a lot. Okay? Yeah. EJ the... 
EJ, the DJ. You know, those are my initials, you know? EJ, yep. Yeah. He was the first king of England. Edge. Edward. Big Ed. <laughs> Big Eddie. Fast Eddie, they used to call him. Yep. There were some really shitty Eddies, but he was pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. First king of England was William the Conqueror. Do you know that I've been getting more and more, like I always was, you know, a big CSI fan. I mm-hmm. like the things, you know. Remember I beat all your guys' asses down at that detective thing? Yeah. I didn't think I would. I thought you guys were way better than me. Yeah. I shot myself. I think I was like seven. So. But I've become really bad. <laughs> I, I was sitting there watching myself and I'm going, hey, wait a minute. Yeah. I've got 2020. I've got true detective. Mm-hmm. I got the detectives. Yeah. I got seven CSIs on that <laughs> thing there, and there's probably more in there. Yeah. But that's just a few. Yeah. There's like three <laughs> days of watching there. Yeah. And I realized, I realized what it was. I made some notes here. I realized the components mm-hmm. of the magnetism mm-hmm. for me. It's about people who never see justice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's incredibly insightful into nutcases hurting ordinary people. Yeah. Right? And it's insightful into human behavior. Weird and ordinary. Right? Yeah. It's really, really insightful. Uh, you know? Yeah. And I think it makes me feel less alone. Look, there's a club. I have a club with the people that get hurt, and I have the club of... What? Something else. <laughs> yeah. That's insightful. That's insightful. You know what I mean? There's just a whole bunch of stuff there that uh, makes me relax and go, oh, I'm home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's hanging from the rafters by their neck. Oh, I'm home. Yeah. <laughs> I, I hate when it's, they, they're they doing this more too. I hate when it's the murderer was justified in murdering them, but they still, oh, we're still going to put you in jail, even though the guy you killed was doing really bad things. Oh, I know. It's like Gossip it. City. Oh. It's great. <laughs> it's just great. It's so juicy. You know? Like, just, <laughs> just like, you know. Juicy fruit. My favorite. <laughs> oh. Okay, I got just what I needed you most in my head, so let's do it. And you know what I think? I think they should stop letting people out of jail and then putting them back, letting them out, and putting them back, putting them back. Because I, I, I was thinking about that, too. Mm-hmm. And I know what it is. Those guys, that's like home in the jail. Mm-hmm. So they come out, and they don't really fit out here. They never did at the beginning. Yeah, but now they're totally screwed when they're out here. And now it's worse. Yeah. You know, because they say it's going to be what it is. It ain't. Yeah. And they're just thinking about home. Yeah. Well, what the shit? Let's do this. Yeah. The worst is, is that we get fed. We get the, yeah. you know, and, and you'll see with the the um, Birdman of Alcatraz, yeah. Burt Lancaster, yeah. you know, they get into things, they get used to it. And when they let them out, when they're old, they like can't take it. Yeah. They'll break something, get yeah. back in. Yeah. Yep. Yep. That's the thing. You, you can do that to a child, too. Yeah. I know all about this. Mm-hmm. You take an elephant and you tie him to something. Yeah. He could grow big. He won't. He won't try. But try to pull the thing out. Yeah. You see. You want to talk about freedom? You talk to me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just what I needed you most, Dad. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you about the scientists I'm talking to you later. What is it? Just what I needed you most. Back in the morning. Hey, you gotta stop, or I can't hear my strings. Okay. You packed in the morning, I stared at the window and I struggled for something to say. You left in the rain without closing the door, I never stood in your way. I miss you more than I missed you before and I swear I'll find comfort. God knows, but you, you left me. Just when I needed you more Yeah, you, you left me Just when I needed you more Now every 
more I stare at the window and I, I wonder where you might be. I've written you letters that I'd like to send. You would just send one of me. And I need you more than I needed you before and I where I find comfort. God knows you. You left me just when I needed you more. Now every morning I, I stare out the window and I, I wonder where you might be. I've written you letters that I'd like to send. You would just send one of me. And I loved you more than I loved you before and I, where I find comfort. God know over you. Just when I needed you more I'm writing letters to a select group of popular and vocal scientists. Yeah. You know these people? David Suzuki, <laughs> Neil deGrasse Tyson, <laughs> and David Hogue. You probably don't know him, but he's a big TV guy. Yeah. Amit Goswami. Mm -hmm. Do you know him? Mm -hmm. He's pretty good. I like the way he says, um, he, he's, talk, he's talking English. He goes, oh, yes, I like him. I like him very much. <laughs> 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 Old Amit there. He's the guy that, uh, you know, locked him in the two different things and they communicated and mm -hmm. he proved a lot of shit there. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. What are you going to do? Oh, who guys? else? Maybe Bill Nye, the science guy. Is he still alive? He's going, yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm sending them all the, uh, you know, my work. Yeah. I don't really care about it because it's so corrupt. Mm -hmm. Publishing scientific stuff is the highest margin publishing in the world. So you can imagine who it's full of, eh? Mm -hmm. Who owns and controls it? Mm -hmm. Don't go near it. Just mm -hmm. forget about it. Yeah. I've heard big academic people talking. Yeah. It, it's terrible. It's all yeah. terrible. Just like everything else. Yeah. Bill Clinton gave it away. Yeah. Uh, along with the media, he let him monopolize everything. Yeah. Boy, that guy, was, you know, you know the guys like me, business, all those guys that do those monopolies, they're guys like me. Yeah. And they see this like politician, like Bill Clinton. Yeah. Oh my God, we can. Oh. Yeah. Easy, easy. Mm. Uh, you know what they call them? Uh, widows and orphans. Yeah, nice. That's nice. Good, good leadership there. Can we sing a song now? Yeah, I want to sing a song. Can we sing, sing two Bina Galatas? I want to sing. This was my, uh, you know, I used this for a tweet. Your crock is going to rock around the, yeah. Your crock is going to rock <laughs> around the clock tonight. <laughs> Once you become awake that your ancient lizard brain is uh, <laughs> obsessed with e evolving. Good. <laughs> yeah. You got to cooperate with the croc. Yeah. Your and then your croc is gonna rock around the clock tonight. There you go. Okay, <laughs> Dad. We're gonna. What's the song? Two Pina Coladas. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so That's relax. exactly what I mean. I need to relax. I'm getting all worked up. I oh, you gotta get in a B. I think that other one that was in the wrong one. I would have done better if it was just one down, just down to the B. I know it should be down in the G sharp, but even one down, I could have done better because I could have hit the low and the high, and I wouldn't have had to go in falsetto. Oh, I see. You know, 
I just start screaming. <laughs> like everybody else. Yeah. I was feeling the blues. I was feeling the blues. Watching the, hey, you know why I was feeling the blues? <laughs> Wasn't cooperating with his croc. You just sing the song? I was feeling the blue, watching the news. This fella came on TV. He said, I'm telling you, science is proof. Heartache is healed by the sea. That got me going without even knowing. I packed right up and drove down. I'm on a roll and I swear to my soul. I don't want to paint this town Oh, bring me two pina colada One for each hand Set and sail on a Captain Morgan Ain't never gonna leave dry land Troubles I forgot them Yeah, I buried them in the sand Bring me to Pina Colado And say goodbye You're a good time of mine Oh, bring me to Pina Colado And say goodbye to your good time of mine See, this guy is cooperating with his croc I gotta say The wind and the waves oh, I gotta say The wind and the waves Moon winking down at me Eases my mind By leaving behind Heartache to love up and bring I got this smile And it goes on for miles With no inclination to roll I gotta say I think that I'm gonna stay Cause this is feeling more and more like home Bring me to Pina Colada One for each hand Set and sail on the Captain Morgan Ain't never gonna leave dry land Troubles I forgot them Yeah, I buried them in the sand Bring me to Pina Colada And say goodbye Good time of mine. I'll bring me two pina coladas. Say goodbye. You're good time of mine. Good time Say goodbye. You're good time of mine. Yeah, baby. Now, the reason we talk about cooperating with your croc is because it's healthy. It's the answer to mental health. You can go down to if you want you get, anybody out there that really cares about it or wants to get into it can go to Griffin Heart Patreon right now. Might move to another website, but right now Griffin Heart it'll probably stay there. I don't know. You know, because we're all about health, because when you got your health, you got just about every damn thing. So you all come back now here for the movie stars and the swimming pool. <laughs>